So first thing we're going to do is duplicate our layer and I'm going to grab my polygonal lasso tool. I'm going to zoom in a little bit and I'm going to start, I think, here. In today's tutorial, I'm going to walk you guys through some very basic Photoshop retouching techniques that you can use for your product photos to help you clean up your images. So once I do a basic color grade in Lightroom of an image, I bring it into Photoshop and the first thing that I do is I remove any dust, imperfections, I clean up any reflections in my product packaging and clean up my background as well, any lines, texture, things like that. I'm gonna walk you through three different tools I use in order to clean up my images. And they are the spot healing brush tool, the clone stamp tool, and the patch tool. Now, if you do wanna learn more advanced retouching techniques specific to product photography, I do teach these inside my course, Become a Brand Photographer, and I will link that in the description box below in case that might be of interest to you guys. And don't forget, you can use the code YouTube at checkout for 10% off as well. Now, if you wanna to get to know me more and you wanna see more product photography tips and tricks, go and follow me over on Instagram at Amanda Campianu. Otherwise, if you're into product photography, check out my YouTube channel. There are so many other videos on behind the scenes tutorials, videos on lighting, videos on business, kind of everything. I release a new video every single week. And if you guys do have any video recommendations, leave them in the comments below as well. Now we are going to be focusing on turning the photo on the left into the photo on the right. And I'm just gonna show you how I initially clean up this image because you can see the original image, it's pretty darn messy. So here we are in Photoshop with our first image and I'm just gonna show you guys how I begin to clean up this image because it's a little messy. So the first thing that I always do is duplicate my background layer um, so that if I mess anything up, I have something to fall back on. So to duplicate this, you simply hit Command J and it creates a new layer. So what we're gonna look at first is our spot healing brush tool. I use this a lot, I love it. And essentially it just heals up any imperfections in the image. So I'm gonna start by cleaning up my background here and getting rid of all of these little water dots on my background. Now there are different ways that you can clean up these kinds of things. So spot healing brush tool is one of my go-tos and I've got it on content aware up here. The other thing you can use is the patch tool. So let's have a look at what the patch tool does. So I basically draw a circle around the area I want to fix and I simply drag it to an area that I want it to replicate. So you can see that has patched it up really nicely and you can obviously do this on other areas of your photo. Kind of depends on what you're dealing with. Otherwise, the other tool that you can use is the clone stamp tool. So I usually have my clone stamp tool on a soft round brush. Whereas if you have it on hard, I'll show you what happens. It's just a little bit too harsh and you get that kind of circle outline. So I always like to use a soft brush and I usually have my opacity at about 90%, sometimes less if I'm working with different kinds of textures um, or imperfections. So all we do is hit option and we select the area that we want to clone and we just brush over the parts that we want to remove. You basically do that for your whole image. So in Photoshop, there are multiple ways you can do the exact same thing. And it really comes down to personal preference as to how you want to work. Okay, so we're just gonna continue to fix up these little dots. All right, so now that I have fixed up my background, I now need to remove this area here on my horizon, which is where my acrylic box ends. I don't really want to show this in my final image. So what I'm going to do is just bring my opacity down a little bit more and I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. I'm going to clone stamp, select this area here. I'm just going to like lightly brush 
over this area. Make that bit smaller. So that blends in nicely with my background. And I'm just gonna go over the water line here as well. So that it just looks like the water never really ends. And we'll do this side as well. Okay, so I'm really happy with that. I think there's like a tiny little bit of a section here that I want to fix. So what I'm going to do is grab my polygonal lasso tool and to ensure I do not go outside of my lines, I'm just going to create a selection here. Oh. Grab my clone stamp tool and just paint inside the box. So this allows me to get to edges really close up without affecting um, like the bottle, for example, here. Okay, I am happy with that. So we're just gonna look at a before and after. So it's looking so much cleaner. And now we need to deal with this pesky reflection. So I'm going to copy that layout and I'm gonna call this reflection. It's a really good idea to get into the habit of naming your layers. I am not yet into this habit. Um, so what we need to do here is get rid of this soft box and you can see my windows open. So we're going to remove that. Um, what I might do is create a selection first. Might go around here. Go really into the line that and I think I'm going to leave it about there. Okay, so this is the area I'm working in. Now I think I'm going to grab my clone stamp tool. I'm going to pop it up a bit more in the opacity and I'm just going to edge in on this reflection. Now, like I said, there are numerous ways to do things in Photoshop. So someone could be watching this right now and thinking, what is she doing? But I have my ways of working and so does everybody else. So you can see this for this selection that we've made, it's helping us to stay inside the lines and not go into the label. And again, I'm using a soft round brush oh. to ensure it's not overly harsh. Okay, so we're just gonna get out of that selection. Now we just need to clean it up a little bit more. So what we're gonna do is grab our clone stamp tool again. And I'm gonna just fix up this section a little bit. And when it comes to reflections, you kind of just have to go with what is going to look natural to the eye. All right, so we fixed that up. So this is the before and then this is the after. So it's just looking a lot cleaner and we've just removed that whole soft box and window reflection from that bottle. So let's look at that before and after again. I'm so happy with how we transformed this photo. And if you wanna know other retouching techniques I've done to achieve the final look, you'll have to be a student inside my course, Become a Brand Photographer, where I do show more advanced retouching techniques. All right, let's move on to the second photo and I'm gonna show you guys how I fix up lines in the background and this is actually a very requested tutorial from my students inside my course but I'm going to share with you guys how to do this on my YouTube channel today. So it's actually very easy to do. It is a great technique to fix up your lines and make them cleaner and more crisp. 
All right, so in this next image, I'm going to show you another basic retouching technique, which is going to help you make sure that your background lines are nice and straight and clean and crisp. So you can see here, the issue that we have with this photo is this background line where two pieces of cardboard meet it is a little off center and we need to fix this. So first thing we're gonna do is duplicate our layer and I'm gonna grab my polygonal lasso tool. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and I'm gonna start, I think here. And I'm just going to make, oh, just gonna make a straight line here. And then I'm gonna make a box around this section and create a selection. So what I need to do is work inside the selection here. I'm gonna grab my clone stamp tool, bump that up to about 90, and we are going to sample out here. You wanna sample as close as, as close to the line as possible. And we're just gonna clean this right up. So we go all the way down, zoom in a little bit, make sure we get all the way down here and all the way up. And while you have the selection selected, <laughs> we need to fix this other side because you can see here we have a difference in color with it being light and then going to dark as it moves into the other piece of cardboard. So we're gonna go back to our polygonal lasso, to lasso, lasso tool. Oh my gosh, Amanda. And we're going to right click on the selection and we're going to select inverse. So this selects everything else except this little section here. And then we're gonna go back into our clone stamp tool sample an area that is close to the edge and we're going to do the exact same thing in this selection. So you can see we are now removing this darkened line. I'm just going to make that smaller. So that it is nice and clean. And you just got to be careful as to what you're sampling. Okay, I think that's probably good. I'm just going to be a bit more precise here. There we go. All right, now let's see what this is looking like. So we just cancel off that. And that is so much more clean. So if we see the before, it's wonky, it's also a little blurry, but now it is beautifully straight. And I just love that contrast in the light and dark purple as well. So we fixed up that and I'm actually gonna fix up this little section here as well. So I'm gonna create a new layer and we're gonna do the same thing. And I'm gonna take it from, I think here, carry it along that line Come to here and then connect that up. So let's have a look at the final result. Now, obviously there are other things I've done to this photo to achieve the final edit, but I think it's really important that we do attend to these lines of our backgrounds to make them really crisp, clear and straight. And I do think it adds to the overall quality of the photo. So those are the three tools that I use to clean up my images so that I can then begin to do more retouching on the photos. And like I said, if you wanna learn more advanced retouching techniques, I share all this inside my course, Become a Brand Photographer. So I hope this tutorial has been helpful for you guys and you've learned the basic tools that you need to just clean up your images. And cleaning is gonna be 
just one piece of the puzzle that is going to help increase the overall quality of your photos. And as usual, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I will get back to you. Otherwise, I'm going to see you next week for the last YouTube video I'm making for 2020 until we get stuck into new content for 2021. And I have some exciting content planned for you guys.